Hey guys, with trout season being a month and a half away from closing, I'll sort of run down on some of the stuff that I use for trout fishing um, and hopefully it'll help you catch more fish. Anyway, so with soft plastics, well, last time I really liked these striped tigers and the one inch nymph, like they're just unreal. Like, look at them, they're awesome. I rig them with a 120th jig head, so it's super small. Out. Super small, super light, and it just looks so lifelike floating down a rapid. I've even used them in still water, uh, like in a, a, a big kind of uh, reservoir sort of setting. They work really well as well. They they still smash them. In the rivers just give them a, like retrieve them normally, and just twitch the rod in as it comes down, it gives it a bit of lifelike action. That seems to be the best way to go. Other soft plastics I use are the good old motor oil grub. They, they work for anything from trout, flathead, brim, everything. I've caught, actually, I've caught a big carp on that before. Anyway, um, these ones, the watermelon red, is it? Yep, watermelon red. Yep, in two and a half inch slim swims. And they're good. I've caught flatties on these ones as well. Um, but I'm going to give these a go on trout, I can't see why they wouldn't work, I reckon they'll be awesome for trout. For hard bodies, I like this one, I've caught, um, one of my videos I've caught a nice little trout on this one, it's just a 50mm diving beetle, it just it has a really big action, like it just, the way it does it, and really nice colours. Spotted dog, can't go past the spotted dog, or past the spotted dog, floats, you know, you're in trouble, you cast it out, let it sink back up, gets smashed, it's awesome, they're real good, I love them. Uh, same thing for these, just another Rapala one, and um, I take the, I see I've taken, uh, just on that one, but yeah, some of them, like, it drives me nuts, you get your line caught around it, and that's why I take that, that hook off there, and just have the back one, like, uh, the hookup rate's no different. The next lure I want to show you is a handcrafted lure. It's from either Pisa or Pika. I'm not sure how to say it. I got it from Get Wet. Um, they're just the quality is just unreal in these lures. I haven't used it yet, but I reckon it's gonna be one of my favourites. Um, that's it there. I'll get some close-up photos of it and show you and of the the brand as well, but. It's just the, the quality of it, you can just tell, like the paint job, they put so much effort into it, it's just unreal. This thing, I've got it in the, the 90 mil, so that it's a bit bigger than most of my hard bodies. So hopefully, big lure, big fish, um, yeah, this thing, whew, I can't wait to use it, it's going to be great. As for, oh, and this, oh, because I'm doing a trip, uh, one of my new videos will be a trip up to the Thompson. And I'm going to try and catch a trout on a surface lure cicada. I've never done it. I've never even tried it. I don't, I don't know many people do it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a go. And that's, that's the one I reckon it's going to work pretty well. Um, as for gear, I've got my Stratic here. Uh, two and a half thousand. She sounds a bit worn out. But it does the job. Uh, six pound braid, it is thin as thin. Eight pound leader, you could probably go thinner, but I don't. I like lots of leader, so I can just grab the leader instead of the line. Not so, I can't even probably see that. It's that small. Anyway, it's it's awesome. It's such a good reel. It needs a little bit of love from me, but uh, we'll get there. And for me, rod, I'll show you. Crucis. One to three kilo, it's six foot, you can get into tight little strands and it's just unreal. This thing, you will cast the lure an absolute mile, what's my goal? Like that, and it just goes. Even those 120 FG heads, they just go, they're awesome. I love this rod, it is so beautiful. And the tip, like you can see, it's just a, it's so, it's quite, like it's a graphite rod. It's, they reckon it's as close as it's gonna get to a, Unbreakable rod in one to three kilos, and I believe it. it's unreal. Like, it's just it's so strong, it just feels strong, even though it's like a twig. And, like, that that's one mil on the end there. It's such a great rod. Now, for times of the day, I like to fish 
real early morning like I get there before the sun comes up even before there's any light and you just you think about where you're going to fish and you, you know you have a little plan in mind because a plan always helps I'm going to use a, a soft plastic early on or I'm going to use a hard body depending on the, the water clarity or how fast it's flowing sort of thing like if it's far, flowing real fast you know you want a soft plastic well that's in my opinion and cast it off and just and bring it back with the rapids and it looks so lifelike and the trout will take it every time um, so early morning and real late afternoon if you fish uh, sort of what's the, what's the sun doing at the moment uh, we're just going back to the daylight savings so I think uh, last light's about 6 30 ish so you want to be fishing about from 4 to, to dark and and that that's that'll be your peak times for fishing and just your basics always cast upstream um, bring the lure back down with the current because um, the fish will be the water will be coming this way the fish will be sitting here and they'll see something go past and just go whoop and just smash it and you don't need to give it a big old reef half the time they just hook themselves like just a little you know little um, little set of a hook and and you're on so. Anyway, that's just my few tips and uh, the gear that I like to use for trout fishing. Oh, you've you got also you got some salters. I don't use salters much anymore. Now that I use um, now that I use soft plastics more, I don't use salters hardly ever. Like, because you can work a soft plastic like a salter. And saying that, like you you can work in real shallow water. Um, so. And fast running water so what's the point of using something that's metal that a trout's going to hit and if he doesn't hook up he's going to be like oh that was no good when you can use something like this that looks like a real bug you know it's a crustacean or, and um, if they bite it and they don't like it they can come back and they'll have another go because it feels life like it doesn't feel like metal so yeah that's that's was my opinion but uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll have another video coming up soon of me fishing at Thompson, catching heaps of trout. That'd be real good. Um, until then, like and subscribe. Down beside the subscribe button, there's a little bell. If you click on that, it'll let you know when um, I've posted up another video and you can get over and watch it straight away. Uh, thanks for your time.